Hello everyone, this is Nick and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to show you how to do a super easy leopard print. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. So here I am and we're starting. So I've just got a bit of yellow paper here and I'm using a black pen to create the outlines of the prints. Now what I'm doing is I'm drawing kind of incomplete circles if you like and I'm adding kind of little bumps and indents to them to make them look kind of more like a leopard print would. So you just want to do them all shapes and sizes and you might want to create some full circle ones but what you want to do is you want to make sure that no two prints are the same because otherwise it will look artificial and you want this to look kind of realistic and natural and you can even do a few where you just got some kind of black splodges and or some half and half some full circles whatever you want so what I'm doing is I'm just taking my black pen and I'm filling up this whole page so what you want to do is just fill it all up with things but you don't want to make it too crowded just as long as you've got the majority of it covered so make sure to have them all facing different directions and different sizes if you really want to make this look realistic so I'm just going to finish this off and I'll see you in the next one Right, so that first one was pretty simple and how we just left it like that with the black on the yellow which looked quite cool so if you wanted to leave it like that you could but on this one what I'm going to do is I'm using coloured pencils so I'm using some Prismacolor coloured pencils in a green and a blue to add the colour in between the black lines so what I'm doing is I'm just putting a base colour of the green and then I'm going over and with some shadows with the blue now you don't have to use these two colours, you could go to, with the traditional brownie yellow sort of colour that a leopard would have or you can go completely wild and do pinks and purples or whatever colour, this is totally customisable, whatever you want to do, just do it and you don't have to use coloured pencils, you could use markers or you could use graphite, whatever you want to do, you just want to go in between and you just want to fill them in and go all over and on this one what I've done is I've done the black pen on a bit of white paper this time just so the colours would pop on the white of the paper which I think looks really good so this is the second way of doing it so I'm just going to finish this one up and I'll see you with the third and final one that I'm going to show you today Now in this final one I am using a brown paper, a tan paper and I'm using highlighters on this one to go over the top and add in all the colours. So I'm using an orange and I'm using a pink and I'm doing about half of them in orange, half of them in pink. Just going over just like before but just filling in with the highlighters. So you can choose any colours and I think this also pops on the brown of the paper, it looks really quite cool. So that's pretty much it for this video so thank you, much, thank you very much for watching and Please subscribe if you haven't already, as I do weekly art videos every Sunday. So subscribe so you don't miss out. And also go check out my Twitter and my Instagram, at NickWillisArt. I'll have links below. And also check out some of these videos on the screen. And my Facebook is there as well, as I'll leave a link again in the description below. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week with another video. Goodbye.